join the McKeel family as a ninth grade student. At school, she is known as the dramatic baker, someone who is very outgoing, smart, and is always willing to bring in treats for her classes, even creating such things as cake in a jar. She is a hard worker who is dedicated to her academics and the many committees she serves on. She has overcome many challenges on her academic journey, but has always managed to come out on top. During her senior year, she maintained a superb GPA of 4.508 to be exact. With an aggressive schedule, which included all honors and advanced placement courses, as well as dual enrollment, she is a member of the Drama Club, National Honor Society, Senior Council, Interact, and A Team, to name a few. In her spare time, she enjoys volunteering at a local soup kitchen, reading to children at the Lighthouse Ministries, and collecting toiletries and blankets for the Talbot House. Sarah has a love for mathematics and was a 2012 Silver Garland nominee in the mathematics category. She loves numbers and feels very comfortable and happy when around them. Sarah has been a math tutor since 10th grade and will continue to tutor in the summer. Mr. Bradford, Sarah's AP Calculus teacher, shared, Sarah was a blessing to everyone in the class. She would often bake desserts and bring them in for everyone to enjoy. When she was done with her work, she would offer her assistance in any way, whether it be making copies, sorting papers, handing work back, etc. Words that come to mind when I think about Sarah, generous, motivated, cookies, compassionate, loyal, brownies, cake, success, overcome, blessing, and dessert. She is one of, if not the most thoughtful, helpful, and hardest working students I've had. I wish I could have her as a permanent student, although I might gain a lot of weight if that were the case. Sarah is described by her friends as a true intellectual, a true sport, and above all, a true friend. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce McKeel Academy's 2012 salutatorian, Sarah Flax. Childs. However, after having been cast as Miss Maple in the play Murder by Decision, I became a more outgoing person who was then immersed in the Wildcat Nation. I began to realize that McKeel is a family full of compassionate, caring people who have since helped to mold me. From Dr. Caselli, who taught me algebra in ninth grade and gave me the support and strength to break two math classes in the same year when others said it couldn't be done, to Mrs. Zamora, who helped me learn to love another culture and language. I would also like to say thank you to Mr. Fields for giving me that one B on my report card. <laughs> because it caused me to work harder in school and made me realize that grades aren't necessarily everything. Thank you, Mr. Bradford, for dealing with our classes all these years and letting us sit in your room and paint your walls. Mr. Dill, it was because of you that I came to love History Fair as more than just an excuse to get out of class. Ms. Pines, thank you for being my guidance counselor this year. Your office literally became like a second home to me. Ms. Reagan, I wanted to thank you for always believing in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. Well, I would like to thank all the rest of my teachers individually as well. I'm pretty sure that if I start down that road, the senior class may later attack my car. So instead, I'll just say thank you for all that you have done. It has enabled me to proudly stand here today. However, I would like to thank my grandparents who are here today from New York. 
Without you, I would not be the person I've become. I cannot even begin to list the amazing opportunities that you have provided for me, like the chance to attend Corona University and take a pre-vet course. To my parents, I say thank you for always being there for me. I don't think anyone else would go out at 3 in the morning to buy an ink cartridge for the printer so that I could print out my history for a website, or buy me five pounds of M&M so that I could get extra credit in statistics. <laughs> Also, I would like to thank my brother who suggested I quote lines from Futurama instead of giving a real speech. <coughs> Thanks, David, I think. In conclusion, and yes, there is an end to the speech, I would like to thank the students of the class of 2012. We have had a lot of fun times, from running across a divided highway in the pouring rain barefoot to performing in Rock Around the Clock, both of which will remain lasting memories. For all of you, I have one piece of advice that I have learned from my time here at McKeel. Although it may sound cheesy, never give up. There may come a time when you will be faced with adversity, and the choices you make in this moment will define who you are. So no matter what challenge hinders your path, face it head on. No, many how, no matter how many times you fall, remember that there are people standing right here beside you willing to help you stand back up again. It is this philosophy that has allowed me to get where I am today, and I cannot be more honored to be the salutatorian of the 2012 graduating class from McKeel Academy. Thank you and congratulations. We did it.